Well, today is epiphany. An epiphany means this is the day we celebrate when kings came to give gifts. Give gifts to baby Jesus. And apparently in some places in the world, this is celebrated. This day is even more celebrated than Christmas because of the giving of gifts to Jesus. So it inspires people to give gifts to each other. But let's talk about a big gift giver. His name is St. Nicholas or Santa Claus. And this book I'm going to read today says The Real Story of the Christmas Legend Written by Julie Steigemeyer and illustrated by Chris Ellison Here we go, St. Nicholas A man named Nicholas lived a long time ago in a village by the Turquoise Sea. The village was called Mira in a faraway country called Lycia. It was just 300 years after Jesus walked on the earth. It shows a picture of Lycia. In Mira. Every day Nicholas swept through the village in his long robes. A circle of children eager for his smile followed him wherever he went. The children knew that Nicholas loved them and always had a kind word for them. For you see, Nicholas was the pastor of this, this village by the sea. He shared Jesus Christ's overflowing love with the people in all he said and did. He baptized them, he gave them the Lord's Supper, and he always reminded them of God's love. And here shows pictures of Nicholas being surrounded by the children in his parish and how they all loved each other. One chilly day, Satka, the littlest of the village children, did not follow Nicholas when the others did. Instead, he sat crying on the stone steps of the church. Hmm. Nicholas noticed the brown-haired boy and asked gently, Satka, where is your smile today? My father is upset, Pastor Nicholas. He keeps asking us, what will happen to my girls? Nicholas dried Satka's tears and said, let's go talk to your father. There's Sat Satka crying on the steps. Ooh, poor Satka. The tall man and the little boy walked down the dusty streets. Stone houses dotted the hillsides above the rocky cliffs by the sea. As Satka and Nicholas approached the humble home, they saw the three girls and their father. Patya, my dear man, I hear there is trouble, Nicholas said with a heavy sigh. Patya explained, that his daughters wanted to get married, but they had no dowry. In those days, that was the custom. In those long days long ago, when ladies wanted to get married, they needed money or other things of value to set up a home. This was called a dowry, but this family was very poor, and Anna, Katerina, and Lydia did not have dowries, so the girls could not get married. And 
larger they are. And they do look a little sad. I suppose if you wanted to, and then that was why you couldn't, that would be sad. Nicholas looked kindly on Patya, his longtime friend. I know you are worried. I would like to help your family. We will pray to God and trust that he will find a way. Patya nodded. Yes, we will pray that our Father in Heaven will help my daughters. And there you can see Nicholas talking to Patia. And Patia is the papa to the three girls and the little boy. The little boy set guy. Ooh, I got some pages stuck together. Nicholas prayed night after night in the candlelit church and wondered how God's love would pour out to this family. He thought about all the good things God had given him, and he thought about God's greatest gift of all, sending Jesus to save us from our sins. Then Nicholas had an idea. Whoa. All that praying, God sent him an idea. Yes, indeed. Nicholas rose from his bed that same night. In the frosty darkness, cloaked in fur, he struggled against the bitter cold through the empty streets. Soon he arrived at the house where Satka and his sisters lived. Look at him. He's traveling into the night. See, he's got some lanterns. My, my, my. Ooh. It looks cold. That's how it is here in Wisconsin right now. It's very cold. If you were in school, you can't go outside for recess. That's how cold it is. But no school today. Today is going to be Sunday. When he arrived at the sleeping house, Nicholas gently pushed open the shutter that covered the window. Very carefully, he dropped something onto the floor, taking great care to be as quiet as possible so he did not disturb the family. Then Nicholas pulled the shutter closed, and walked back home, smiling to himself along the way. What do you suppose he dropped? It looks like three packages. Boy, I don't know. How could you drop those and be quiet? Especially in the middle of the night. Kind of hard. Ah, morning came, and with it a wonderful surprise for Anna, Katerina, and Lydia. On the floor next to their shoes, they found three bags of gold. Oh. Now they had their dowries. Oh. Money enough to set up a house. Now they could marry and set up homes of their own. With tears in his eyes, Patya led his family in prayer. Lord, from your bounty you gave us your own dear son. Now your blessings have poured out to us again. We give you thanks and praise. Amen. It, it shows them, see? Getting their little gifts. I think I know where those gifts came from. How about you? Yeah, I think so. I think so. They don't, though. No, they don't know. In time, all three of Padia's daughters got married. Pastor Nicholas blessed the couples and told them, Wherever you are, sad, wherever you are afraid, remember, God will help you. And God always did. Oh, look at one of the girls' wedding, showing a picture. Nicholas is talking and telling them, Always, 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 wherever you go, Whenever and wherever, God is with you. Nicholas was filled with Jesus' love, so much so that love poured out through everything he said and did. Tales of Pastor Nicholas's kindness and generosity spread throughout the land. He became known as Father Christ.
Christmas. And to this day, people continue to give gifts at Christmas, like Nicholas did, as a way to share God's love and show kindness to others, like the three kings did on Epiphany, when they brought the gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh, frankincense, and myrrh, to Jesus in that humble stable. Okay, here's a picture. It's the same picture that's on the cover. Show kindness to others. Very important. Even strangers. When the kings came to give to Jesus, they didn't know him. He was a stranger. They still gave, and they gave generously. However, God is even more generous and loving still. God gave us the greatest gift we could ever imagine. He gave us a Savior, Jesus Christ. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus and how he came as a baby, but eventually would die for the sins of the world. Jesus is the real gift of Christmas. And like Nicholas, we are filled with Jesus' love, so we want to share that love with others. So is that what happens to us at Christmas time? I think so. It feels like it. I even give a present to the garbage man. And he always appreciates it. The end. So that is the legend of St. Nicholas, the legend of Father Christmas, also called Santa Claus. Now you know all the story. So Santa Claus's story has its roots in history. Nicholas was a pastor just 300 years after Jesus walked the earth. Tales of his generosity, a response to the gifts we received through Jesus, were widespread. His kindness and care are modeled every time we give a gift out of love. I think St. Nicholas will live forever. <laughs> Why do I like St. Nicholas? Mm -hmm. Because St. Nicholas is, the feast day of St. Nicholas is December 6th. And December 6th was my grandpa's birthday. <laughs> but today is Epiphany. Give gifts. <laughs>